Hi, it's Professor Adam. Let's talk about coordination compounds. Further to an understanding of geometries, we need to be able to name these structures for times when we cannot use diagrams or figures. Luckily, naming coordination compounds follows a set of rules. The first rule we will use is to always place the cation before the anion in the name, so it is always cation anion and never anion cation. The second rule concerns how we name complex ions. If a cation or an anion contains more than one atom, we enclose them in square brackets. Building on the first two rules, the next rule concerns the order of the components. For the name, we list the ligands before the metal with any prefixes ignored when considering the alphabetical order. For the formula, we reverse this rule. Within each bracket, the metal comes first, followed by the ligands. To express the oxidation state of the metal, we add Roman numerals to the brackets after the ion name. Ligands are named in alphabetical order, ignoring any prefixes. The alphabetical order for the name is then also used to order ligands within the formula. If the name already includes a Greek prefix, is polydentate, or starts with a vowel, we cannot use the usual Greek prefixes and need to use a different prefix, such as those listed in the third column of this table. So in our example here, we have three water ligands called aqua and three ammonia ligands called amine. We use this same order for the formula. When naming complexes, we use the prefixes in the third column for polydentate ligands and so we get dibromo bisethylene thiamine iron 3 chloride. The bromide ligand becomes bromo because it is anionic, and the complex ligand ethylene diamine is placed in brackets because it already includes the di prefix, which also means we use bis rather than di. Coordination complexes can also have cis and trans isomerism and which can be expressed in the compound's name. Diamine dichloroplatinum-2 is a neutral complex. It has two isomers, cis and trans, which we can write as a prefix for the compound's name. The cis isomer is also known as cisplatin, an important anti-cancer drug. Many ligands can form dative covalent bonds to two different metal atoms. Such behavior is called bridging. A bridging ligand is denoted with a mu prefix. Metals do not only exist as cations, or neutral species, but also as anions. Most of the rules we have learnt remain the same, but when naming these compounds, we have one big difference that causes the name of the metal to change. These names are derived from the elemental source names. For example, when we have iron in an anion, we call it ferrate. So the complex anion here is called tetrachloroferrate 3 because there are four chloroligands on a central iron ion with an oxidation state of plus 3 for an overall charge of negative 1. The negative charge makes it an anion, and thus we need to use the element-derived names. So, to recap, name cations before anions. Ligands are named in alphabetical order with their names changing based on their charge. If we have multiple of the same ligand, we need to indicate that with prefixes. Oxidation states of metals are written as Roman numerals, and we label isomerism with the usual prefixes and denote bridging ligands with mu. If a complex is cationic, we write it first with ligands appearing before the metal followed by any counter ions to balance the charge. If the complex is neutral, we follow the same rules, but this time we don't need a counter ion. If the complex is anionic, we change the metal name and add the positive counter ion in front of the complex as we must follow the cation anion name order convention. We can determine the charge of a complex from its formula if we know the usual oxidation states of common ligands. For this hequa aqua iron chloride complex, we know that chloride ions usually have a charge of minus one 
and so if there are two of them, we must have a charge of plus two on the cation in order to balance the charges. Water is a neutral ligand, which means that the iron must have a plus two charge, since the charge of the iron plus the six zero charges must be plus two. Thus we can write hexa aqua iron two chloride. Let's check comprehension. 